Hello Year 2. Welcome back to Maths. Today your starter is going to be mixed addition and subtraction practice where you can use any method that you want to use to answer these four questions. So you can use the number line method or you can draw Dean's or you can use the partitioning method. The partitioning method is this one. I know it's backwards, which is really annoying, but the partitioning method is when you take the first number and you break it up into the tens and then the ones and then the second number. And then if there is more than nine, you bring that 10 over. So that's for adding and for taking away. That's when you borrow a 10 and then you put it over to the one side. Okay, so this was the partitioning method that we did before Christmas. I'm really sorry that this is backwards. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna pause the video and you are going to copy these questions and use a method that you want to use to find the answer. And when you're finished that, play the video again so we can do the rest of today's lesson. I want to put some children into carpet spaces. How can I arrange them? There must be the same number of children in each row. We would normally be doing this in class with real children, but that's not possible right now. So instead, I've got my Lego characters and I filmed a video of me arranging the Lego children into carpet spaces. Now I want you to think what is really important about carpet spaces. Look at the way that I've got the children here. We've got a big clump of children and then some random children kind of sitting around. Now, what I'm doing in this video now is I'm just putting them all onto one side so that I could arrange them. So I've got, let's see how many children we have. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I want to arrange them into carpet spaces. Okay, let's see what I've done. So I've taken her and she's going to sit right at the front and he's sitting behind her. What do you think? How have I arranged my children into carpet spaces? Do you think this is right? If this was in the classroom, would you say that these are good carpet spaces? Let's see. So I don't think they're good carpet spaces because we've got two children at the front. We had two children at the front and then it wasn't equal on the row behind. So what I did is I just moved one of the children to go into the row behind. So this is the way that I have arranged the children. How many rows, how many rows of children are there? I'm going to circle the rows. So the rows go across. So I've got one row and I've got another row. So how many rows of children are there? There are two. There are two rows of children. How many children are in each row? In each row. So in this row, there are five. There aren't 10 children in each row. We've, there are five children in each row. Five children. And how many children all together? We can count in fives. Five, 10. So there are 10 children all together. It's not letting me write there. Um, there are 10 children all together. When objects are arranged in equal rows, like these children here, we call that an array. Okay, we'll do I say, you say. Array. Array. It's called an array when there are objects arranged in equal rows. Where might you see arrays in real life? So 
I want you to, I give in one example here, here's a small carton of eggs, and we have a row here and a row here. So this is an array. I want you to pause the video and I want you to have a look around your house to see if you can find any other examples of arrays. And when you have done that, we've had a good thorough search of your house, you can come back and press play again. So I hope that you have found loads of different examples at home of arrays. These are some other examples that we might see in our daily life. We've got a pack of Ferrero Rochers. Now we've got how many rows do we have in this pack of Ferrero Rochers? We've got one row here, one, two, three, four, five rows of Ferrero Rochers. And each row, each row, one row has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's lots of Ferrero Rochers there. Here is another example of an array from the last page. One row, two rows, and three in each row. And then we have these amazing looking donuts. How many rows are there in this picture? There are one, two, three, four rows with two donuts in each row. Your mobile phone is also an example of arrays. We have all of these apps going across. So that's one row. Here's a row of apps and then another row of apps. So in this picture, we can see one, two, three, four. We can see four rows and four apps in each row. If you go to an eyeglass shop, eyeglasses shop, you can also see examples of arrays because all of the glasses are put on into really neat rows. So one, two, three, four rows of glasses. And in each row, we have one, two, three, four, five. Let's look at a picture of these muffins. Which group of muffins do you think is easier to count? Personally, I think this group is much easier to count because they're all really neatly arranged. Let's write a multiplication sentence for this group of muffins and then we'll do the same for this group after. Okay, so first we need to find out how many groups there are. So there are, oops, let me get a pen out. There's one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups. There are five groups of, and how many are in each group of muffins? Each group has two. So five groups of two, how are we gonna find how many all together? We're gonna count in twos, two, four, six, eight, ten. There are ten muffins all together. Let's now look at the tray of muffins. So we're going to find how many rows there are because each row is a group. One, two, three, four, five. There are five rows, so five groups. And in each group, so five groups of two equals two, four, six, eight, ten, equals ten. So it's the same number sentence as we can see, but there's two different ways of arranging it. But this way, the array is much easier. Let's look at this picture of some donuts. Which array is showing three groups of two? Which one? We've got this array or this array. So three groups of each group, remember, is a row. So which picture is showing three rows of two? Pause the video. 
have a look, and when you've got your answer, play it again. So what we're going to do is we're going to circle the groups in each group of donuts. So here's one row, one, two. So this is showing two groups, oops, groups of three, because there's three in each row. Let's do this one. One, two, three. This is showing three, oops, th three groups of two. So let's go back to the question. Which array is showing three groups of two? It's this one. I have this cardboard container that actually my, it was for um, a Harry Potter Lego advent calendar that I had in December and I thought it would be absolutely perfect to show you guys arrays. So as you can see, look, there's equal rows going all the way across. How many rows can you see? One, two, three, four. So there's four rows and in each row there are five little boxes. So I think this is absolutely perfect to help us make arrays. The first array we are going to make, I'm going to use the buttons and I'm going to put some buttons in each little box and I want you to think what the array is showing. What multiplication sentence is the array showing? So if I put a button in here, make sure you guys can see it. One. Okay, so I'm not going to fill all of the squares, but I'm going to fill these ones in. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on the video so you can actually see what I've done. So, how many rows of buttons have I made? So rows go across. So, one, two, three. And how many buttons are in each row. In this row there are two, in this row there are two, and in this row there are two. So our multiplication sentence is three groups of two. And how many do we have all together? Let's count in twos. Ready? Two, four, six. We have six buttons all together. Let's try another example. I'm going to dump up my buttons. This time I am going to use crayons and I'm going to fill the little boxes with some crayons. Choose blue crayons. So I'm gonna do Okay. What I want you to do now is I want you to look at the array that I have made. Pause the video and write the multiplication number sentence that describes this array. All right, let's see if you got the correct answer. So we're going to first see how many rows we have. So the rows go across, remember? So we have one row, two rows, three rows. So that means we have three 
groups of, and how many crayons are in each row? How many in each group? One, two, three, four, five. So it's three groups of five equals how many all together? We're going to count up in fives. Ready? Five, ten, fifteen. So this array is showing three times five equals fifteen. Do another example. This time, I'm going to use my Lego characters. So I'm going to put, I'm going to make an array just like last time with the crayons, and I want you guys to write the number sentence that describes the array that I make. zoom in for you. Have a look, pause the video, and I want you to write down the number sentence that describes this array. Okay, let's see. How many rows do we have? One, two, three, four. There are four rows, that means we have four groups four groups of, and how many are in each row? Got two, sorry, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So four groups of two equals, how many all together? I'm gonna count up in twos. Two, four, six, eight. We've got eight all together. Now it is your turn. I want you to make an array showing four groups of two. You're gonna pause the video and you're gonna make an array showing four groups of two. Then when you play the video again, I can show you how to work it out. So I know that you don't have this Lego container box at home. So I'm going to show you how to arrange four groups of two as an array. So we've got two in one row, two in another row, two in another row, and two in another row. And we can circle each row. So one, two, three, four, two, four, six, eight. Your next question, I want you to make an array showing three groups of five. Three groups of five. So pause the video Oops, it says four times two. Make, make an array showing three groups of five. And when you play the video again, I will be able to show you how to work it out. Three groups of five. So three rows of five. It's only five going across there's three rows but each row has five so there's one group of five one row I need three rows two rows three rows I'm gonna circle the rows one two Three. Three rows of five. Three groups of five. 
Altogether, we have 5, 10, 15. Your turn again. I want you to use your counting things to make a raise for the following number sentences. So you're going to pause the video so you can see these questions and you're going to make a raise for all of these questions. Altogether you will need at most 30 objects. It's quite a few. Um, hopefully you have that many. If not, you can skip the question that says 3 times 10. Okay, so pause the video and play the video again when you are ready. How do you think we can draw a raise? Before I show you how, I want you to draw an array showing five groups of two. Have a go at it, and when you have finished having a go, play the video again and I'll show you how we can do it. I'm going to show you five times two with objects on this side and drawing on this side. So five groups of two, five rows of two. So of two means two in each row, and I need five rows. So one row of two, two rows of two, three rows of two, four rows of two, five rows of two. <clears throat> so I've got two, four, six, eight, ten. Five times two is ten. When we draw it, we're going to draw, sorry, our picture so it looks just the same as the objects with the buttons. So we have to be very, very careful with how we draw because we don't want to get all messy and we don't want it to be all squashed together because it'll be hard to count. So let's make our dots really clear. So there's two, one row of two, two rows of two, three rows of two, four rows of two, five rows of two. If you want, you can also carefully circle your rows so it's really clear. So here, we, this is showing five groups of two, five rows of two, and the dots are very neatly drawn.